Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got uh, 50 Cent taking a clap at Jay, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what was coming, man. Uh, Cardi B, um, uh, matter of fact, yo, Cardi B and Tasha K, man, that joint continues. You see what I'm saying? Uh, Rory claiming that um, uh, in 15 years, uh, something's gonna go down with Trey songs that, that R. Kelly couldn't hold a candle to, man. Um, who, yeah, who else you got over here, man? We got, um, uh... I think we had Kanye saying something about something that Game said, man. And Fabulous, man, and Kodak. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. And hey, yo, if this is your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button and feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. And hey, yo, that notification bell's waiting for your tasks to go on and give it a touch, man. And that subscribe button's waiting for your subscription, man, so go on and touch that, too. Hey, yo, today's Resurrection Sunday, man. Yeah, you know I mean, a lot of people uh, celebrate the resurrection of Christ, man. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to um, those of y'all that be celebrating that, man. Shout out to the most high jesus christ you follow what i'm saying man um uh those of y'all that don't believe the resurrection man what kind of history books are y'all working with man where y'all getting y'all history from fam you know what i'm saying i mean this stuff is blatant anyway um look there's a re <laughs> i went to go well forget it now, look remember when we reported to you the other day the strange story about lotto talking about um uh one of the features on her album was trying to drop they uh what you <laughs> one of the features on her album was trying to get with a man and immediately everybody was like oh, kodak Kodak is Kodak. You know what I'm saying? It's gotta be Kodak. And Kodak was like, although I said stuff like that with my lips, that anyone I work with, I gotta give up the buns. I am appalled, right? He was like, I am appalled. Y'all would think it's me. And eventually, right? It started coming out that Kodak was not the guy. Well, apparently it's being said that it was another big name feature that was on the album, man. And Kodak is pissed that that isn't going viral. He posted a statement that said, quote, a podcast has claimed that Lil Wayne was a culprit and not Kodak. My thing is, why the cuff this ain't go viral like that other one where people was just automatically assuming me for no reason. This little internet ish crazy, y'all. Stay, oh, my bad. Y'all stay on a ninja dick. <laughs> Be trying to make this perception from of me for people to see on this ish when it come to me, but I can't even do it. I can't even do it because the way he said it, I can't even do it. Anyway, he said my money good. <laughs> His money good. Yeah, you know I mean, uh, go go. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Everybody's like, so wait, so who's the feature again? Um, I don't know. They they, they saying to somebody, uh, you know, so some little dude. You know what I'm saying? I don't even want to get into it, but. Uh, that's what they saying it is, man. The word, the word on the street is that, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Lotto ain't never said anything. She ain't never confirmed exactly who it was. You see what I'm saying? But Kodak is pissed because he's like, why they trying to make it me? Because you said that any, you said, sir, that anybody that gets with you gotta give up the buns. But that's like working for him, not being a feature. So he, he that's not what. He, so you gotta be very mindful of exactly what he said. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, the artist Fabulous uh, had to do an interview with Jim Jones, right? Uh, who does the drip report? And, uh, you know, while, while the man responsibly pulled the whip over, fabulous, right? He pulled the whip over to do his interview with Jim Jones. The fuzz shows up. And, yo, take a look. Evan Store, do you have some music about the drop? Let us know. Oh, yeah, man. I I, I see once the weather start breaking, it, it, it feel like it's a little bit of fab time for me. So I definitely working on some music right now and um trying to get, trying to get, like, ready for summer you know what i'm saying like new york you know it's a big change oh, oh wow so uh, someone called to those no plates in this car so that's why we're out here what oh, happened all right yeah i just pulled up you got you got a business <laughs> um no nah, i was just pulled over to do this interview on the phone and oh okay <laughs> this police right now. <laughs> police pulled up yeah <laughs> police pulled up on me um, oh man don't worry right. about it bro let's let's get you out of harm's way i appreciate you i love you spence i'm gonna see you at the gym thank you all right, man. All right. <laughs> um, I, I think his video just cut. The, that's kind of wild. Um, he was sitting in a Rolls Royce. How is police hating on that man? I was just about to ask him about the drip. And this is crazy. So firsthand, we get to see what it feels like to be black and rich in America. It don't matter if you're rich or you're poor. It just matter the color. And I'm not starting anything because you all saw it for firsthand for yourself. This is what we go through all the time. Not just us, everybody from this color. You heard? Stay safe out there. All right, check this out. Fab is like, yo, police pull, pull up. Pull. Fab is like, yo, why are you stuttering for this? 
today, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fab is like, yo, police pulled up on me, man. And and they're like, somebody called and said that there are no plates on this car. So that's why we out here. People be calling for that? I don't think people really be calling for that, man. You know what I'm saying? Then they go, oh, do you live here? Now, Jim Jones cuts away uh, from the interview and is like, yo, he's sitting in a Rolls Royce, man. How they hating on this man? First hand, we get to see what it feels like to be black and rich in America. This is what we go through all the time. Not just us, anybody of this color. Close quote. I'm over here like, yo, if I was fabulous, man, I'd be like, hold on, hold on, Jim, hold on, hold on, hold on. You don't want this for content, fam. Let's see how this plays out. And if it's, um, you know what I'm saying, uneventful, cut it from the program. Look, <laughs> imagine if the worst happened, man. You know what I'm saying? If, like, listen, man. If your boy celeb gets pulled over, you know what I mean? And if and I feel like I'm getting the sense like this is going to be a tense conversation, we going live. You know what I mean? That'll be the first time you see Celeb Source. Celeb Source will go live at that moment. You know what I'm saying? We switching over to YouTube and we going live. You know what I mean? <laughs> Come on, fam. And then, of course, if nothing happened, I'm going to be like, you think that was me, man? You think? It? Come on, fam. You think that was really me? Be serious for a second. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't like to lie. Check this out, man. Um, as you already know, right, Snoop showed up to Drink Champs and Nori made a statement regarding the game saying Kanye did more for him than Dre. Now, Nori said that he showed the clip to Kanye and this happened. Take a look. Um, game said something on our show. <clears throat> game said that Kanye did more for him in two weeks than Dr. Dre did for him and his whole career. Now, I'm going to before I ask you this. I'm gonna tell you, I Kanye pulled up to my wife's juice bar, and I showed it to Kanye. And Kanye looked at it and said, "I don't think Game should have said that." <laughs> <laughs> One million percent the truth. Game knows. Uh, listen, Kanye knows this. Uh, listen, one million percent. I love every, all all sides. Right, all parties involved. All parties involved. But I need to hear Snoop Dogs. I mean, I don't know. I don't, I, that's his personal experience. So right. that's a, a personal, you know, situation where he feels that that's what happened. Like mm -hmm. maybe Kanye walked him in the metaverse and showed him the billion dollar scheme on how to get to the billion. A little you bit. Know, you know, it could have been something to that effect that he could have showed him something. You know, because yeah. Dre not really good at showing you nothing. He basically good at bringing your talents to the light. You That's know, fire. to where it's about you, mm -hmm. not what he do for you, but mm -hmm. what you can do for yourself when you up under his guidance. Right. So to me, I couldn't answer that. But, I, you know, game is my little homie, so I respect everything he say and do. I don't ever want to be on the bad side with him or none of that shit as far as negative energy. We got a great understanding. You know, I respect his point of view, his views. He, he always said, checks he in said, with he me. He said too. you was a safe Hey, yo, man, Kanye said, Kanye said, I don't think the game should have said that. And Snoop said, yo, that's his personal experience. So that's a personal situation where he feels that what happened, maybe uh, Kanye walked him through the metaverse and showed him how to get billions. It could have been something to that effect. It could be that he showed him something because Dre not really good at showing you nothing. He basically good about taking your talents to light. You know what I'm saying? To, to where it's about you, not what he could do for you. But what you can do for yourself when you're under his guidance. You know what I'm saying? Uh, close quote. Excellent, excellent way to say that, man. You know what I mean? And, and, and uh, I can understand that 100%, man. Some people are really good at teaching, man. Other people could just, you know what I'm saying? They, they're not necessarily great at teaching, but they, they got their own talent. They could bring your joint to light, man. I like the way you put that, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, look. Do I got shout out? Is shout out to, I love this out. A while back, right? We did a story about Sarunas J. Jackson, right? Who spoke about wanting to put the pause on Trey songs, man. And this is what he said. Take a listen. True. And like some of them, I mean, some of them be doing crazy. But like I said, have some run ins. And they do that thing where they were trying to sell this tough guy scene like this one. Trey. Trey songs. Woo! Try to press, a f try to press women. You know what I'm saying? But then we'll turn down the fade when it came up to him for the fade. Turn it down. I'm not cool with like that. I'll try try to knock out, keep running, but like it just it, he wants to fight women and stuff like that. And that, to me, I can't operate like that because you get so many of those, and especially once they're there, and it's mm -hmm. like unfortunate because it's like I'm a fan of this. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not one to like look. Yeah, I don't play there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you talent, bro, I, I can separate the man from the artist sometimes. Sometimes it starts getting too a little too muddy for me. I'm like, ah, uh, well, I do that. I'm like, it's unfortunate it, yeah. when you like, bro. I really. For years, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Talented. Now, Rory, 
has come out and stated that the surviving Trey Songz documentary would be worse than the surviving R. Kelly documentary. Take a listen to what Rory had to say, man. In 15 years, however the fuck long it's going to be, that Trey Songz doc is going to be crazier than the R. Kelly one. Trey Songz is the most nasty, abusive, rapey, beats the shit out of women. Like, he is the scum of the fucking earth. Trey Songz is fucking disgusting. Like, his doc is going to be is going to surpass if you ever thought you could surpass an r kelly doc i promise you in 15 years trey songs his doc will he's an awful human being like a terrible terrible fucking human being and somebody is gonna knock him the fuck out it's not like you know who that somebody is like yeah this isn't one story. This is personal that I know with, I'm not even exaggerating. I, close to 15 to 20. My man said, uh, you know, I promise you in 15 years, Trey Songz, his doc will, um, in 15 years, his doc will be like horrendous, okay? He says he's an awful human being, like a terrible, terrible human being. Um, this isn't one story. I, I personally know, I'm not exaggerating, close to 15 to 20 women, all with the exact same experience that I know not to be liars at all now here's what really gets me this part right here upon hearing that right funk master flex comes out okay and he shows up in the comments and says the following i can't even make this up y'all he says quote at rory he goes maybe you should step up and not trace songs out yourself since you so tough i see this subject is getting hot and heavy close quote incredible absolutely incredible this man flex defaulted to maybe you should step up and not trace songs out for yourself see this is why we could only go but so far man we talking about women being assaulted and violated right and perhaps these claims should be looked into and considered right and this man says oh maybe you should knock him out since you're so tough it almost sounds like he's taking I don't know if women are saying if multiple women are saying somebody violated them right and the other person's like you know what i'm saying no i didn't i ain't saying like i cannot jump on the side at that point you know what i mean i got to take a step back and be like all right i'm not gonna say you know what i'm saying i'm you know what i mean like i'm not gonna i can't be heavy on the side you see what i'm saying man but it look crazy when 15 to 20 women come out and say something and you don't got like and you know what i mean like you're not disproving this 15 to 20 women can't say like that know me they cannot say that I did anything without me like flipping the table at that point. You know what I mean? But anyway, um, uh, Saruna's J. Jackson came back after Flex said that and said, Flex, you should want to knock his ass out too. You worried about the wrong ish. Plus, that ninja runs. Close quote. <laughs> you know, I went to go see Batman yesterday, man. Um, you know, the Batman that just came out, man. I, honestly, I really liked the movie, man. I think it was like the sec my second favorite Batman. Yeah, hell yeah, it was long. It was very long, but it was a good long. You know what I mean? Like a King Kong kind of long. Anyway, um, uh, listen, the, the, the issue that I saw in Batman is that whenever you have like people that be doing funky stuff, around that person, they are mad enablers. You see what I'm saying, man? Around R. Kelly, there was mad people that knew what the hell this ninja was doing you know what i mean and they did not like you know what i mean like a lot of they didn't say nothing you know what i'm saying why the hell would funk flex say something like that it makes you wonder when when somebody be like oh well since you so tough this dude said yo man this guy's wrong for violating my friends and funk flex came out and said well you should do something about it since you so tough that's how you approach that i don't know let me do my shout outs real quick man uh where the heck my shout outs at man um all right check this out man shout out to uh <laughs> look pierre 910 s came through and said i agree with jay leno because will based his whole career on not cursing and after 30 years he decided to curse on live tv i'm over here like yo pierre we appreciate you coming through in the comment session fam but you ain't never seen bad boys too man talking about who 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 the hell is this pulling up man you, yeah, keep rolling, fam. Keep rolling, my nigga. Keep rolling, dog. I don't know you like that. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, my bad. You know what I'm saying? You know, boy feeling crazy. Anyway, 
Uh, who we got over here, man? Bri Brianna Hurt. <laughs> Brianna Hurt came through and said, let me double check. Brianna Hurt came through and said, so nobody remember Kodak saying he don't like dark skinned girls or he only do light skinned women or white women. He literally said this. What y'all talk about the man being racist against his own kind? Shaking my head. What? Now he changed his mind? Get the cuff out of here. I'm over here like Brianna Hurt. You ain't never changed your mind before? It ain't possible for folks to change their mind. Why does everybody think, right, that, like, people can't change even though everything in life changes? You know what I'm saying? The seasons change, the day change, the hour change, your underwear changes. Why the hell can't people change their feelings? I don't understand that, man. He liked, he, if, he, if he only liked light-skinned and white women before, but now he likes dogs, he can do that. You can change your preferences. Uh, Phil came, uh, yo, Phil, Phil, my man said, yo, I'm begging you, man, let my mama know, happy belated birthday, Mrs. Y. Trumpler, your baby Phil said, happy birthday, happy belated birthday, he a little late on the draw, but you know he love you, mama, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> um, uh, matter of fact, I think it might have been his birthday too, man, you know what I mean, he said, yo, what's the direct donation way, I think it's, uh, celeb, celebs, dot, so, I don't know, source, they, uh, you know, he's asking how do you donate to the channel, man? For uh, your views a donation, you know what I mean? Um, you could uh, join a membership. You could do it that way. I don't even even oversee this part of the operation. You know what I mean? I think we got a cash app too, by the way, man. Hit us with a sub. Hit us with a like. Share us. Share us wherever you can share us, man. All that stuff helps us out, man. You know what I'm saying? But Sauce might have a cash app somewhere on the bottom, just in case you feeling inclined. You know what I mean? Everybody gave us a dollar on the cash app, man. We we be doing alright. You like, man, please, I ain't giving you no dollar. What you giving me? Content. We giving you content. We giving you entertainment, man. We giving you whatever. Peter Peterson said, yo, man, I ain't scared of Jesus. He's all about love and forgiveness. Oh, I'm about to say. His, gangst he, his gangster as cuff dad, though, he scares the ish out of me because he's literally Old Testament. I love them both, though. Um, uh, Look, Peter Peterson, Um, here's a plot twist. Here's a plot twist. The person that kept showing up in the Old Testament, right, bringing the heat, that was Jesus, fam. You know what I mean? Before he had a flesh and blood body, fam. You know what I mean? Um, uh, you know, once you study, like, if you study this long enough, you bump into that fact, man. Jesus came out and said, yo, I am the I am. John 8, 58, man. You know what I mean? Let's get right back to it, man. Finish this bad boy up, man. Um, uh, look, remember yesterday we spoke to you about a blogger that doubled down on ASAP Rocky? Well, forget it. Hey, hey, check this out. In a completely unrelated story, right? Um, <laughs> I said a completely unrelated story. Blogger Tasha K has refused to remove her def uh, def defamatory video about Cardi B. Now, according to the journalist, Dennis Byron, Cardi B's attorneys are mounting a legal response to Tasha K because she has not removed the offending videos. Now, he posted, he said, quote, breaking. The blogger lady, a.k.a. Tasha K, defies federal court order by failing to remove def um, defamatory statements about I am Cardi B, right? Cardi B's legal teams mount a response. She's facing possible prison time and financial sanctions. This is a developing story. Now, he also stated that this is the federal judge's order and it is very specific and it was co a consenting order by mutual party. So at this point, when you violate a judge's order, there are one or two things that could happen. They could throw you in jail. They could fine you. Being thrown in jail is one thing, but then the fine is up to $50,000 and up to a year in jail. Uh, what was Tasha K thinking? That's what he said, close quote. Now, Tasha uh, was on Fox Soul, right, on Friday, and she had this to say, take a listen. Okay, and so my channel was going smooth. We had no problems, you know what I'm saying? And you know, we're growing. Yes, we got beefs here and there, but for the most part, everything, we have a great relationship with YouTube. And so this, I'm gonna be honest with you, everything was smooth sailing, so I thought this would go smooth sailing, but you know, the universe had otherwise and said no. So, I mean, for the most part, like I said, I wouldn't change anything about, you know, what happened because I've learned so much as a businesswoman as a blogger, as a, 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 you know, a talk show host in the making. And so, yes, I wouldn't have had it any other way. But girl, was it at the stake of four million? All right, so Shorty said, um, this is what she said. She said, this is my life and I will spend my life fighting for my livelihood and our first amendment right as human beings. Close quote, incredible man. <laughs> she like, look, I'm gonna I'm talk about her buns. I'm gonna I'm a fight for the rest of my life to talk about her buns. <laughs> I'm a talk. You know what I'm saying? I mean, why? Like, you just take the stuff. Like, come on, man. Take the stuff down. Yeah, you know I mean, it's about her buns. 
know what I'm saying? And and it's been proven that what you said was false. Like there was the evidence. Like the And she's like, I'm gonna double down. Anyway, um uh she said that she's gonna take it all the way up to the Supreme Court if she has to, man. I, I honestly think that's crazy, man. It wouldn't look so bad if she wasn't doubling down on the ASAP rock. Right, well, we'll forget it. Anyway, um uh and finally check this out man um apparently right snoop was on drink champs okay and when he was on drink champs he had a conversation with nori right and in the interview right it was stated it was stated um i think nori said nori said i said to jay-z i have to ask this straight up who's going to perform at the nfl and jay-z and jay-z said um he said to me and i and i'm sorry for everybody who understand he said the white guy call for 50 cent okay I, I guess the, the idea is um, Eminem is the white guy that called for 50 Cent to be on. And, and, he said, and the story is coming out that M said, I am not going to perform unless 50 is there. Uh, 50 Cent responded to that because essentially I almost sound like he was being black bull. 50 Cent said, why would he have to say that he should be the question? Nori. Your big homie is running around trying to look like a gay painter. <laughs> you talk about the picture with um, uh, uh, Jay Z looking like Bas Basquiat, 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 Basquiat. You know what I'm saying? And y'all let us know your thoughts in the comments below, man. What's up with the shadow banner, man? I mean, what's up? What, is it? Can I call it that? I'm not gonna even. Well, whatever. What's up with the shadow banner, man? You know what I mean? Um, uh, you think 50 Cent is being shadow banned? I personally, I kind of sort of think so, man. I think they shadow banned 50, man. Whenever um certain stories about 50 come out, man, like they pu they push that sucker down all the way to the bottom, and that'd be big news, man. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news.